Sorry about that. All right. Well, we are going to get into the bulk of it. You guys have been so patient with me. I'm going to keep an eye on my mic. I don't know why it keeps going out. But um, yeah, thank you so much. You guys are so great. Thank you for letting me know. Um, so yeah, we are going to be unboxing, which I'm so excited to share that with you. If you guys did not hear, all glory to God. The only reason I'm here where I'm at is because of God first. But second, it's the people. It's God's beautiful people who are on here watching this right now. And I just thank each and every one of you. Like, thank you so much. So it's an absolute blessing. Um, what we'll do before we start. <laughs> Uh, I definitely prayed this morning, but maybe we should do a double prayer, right? All right. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing us together. Thank you for this momentous occasion. I know, you know, this is all from you, Lord. It happens so quick and we give you all the glory. Lord, I ask that you bring down your spirit. You ask, you say that in your word, if two or more come in agreement, Lord, that you are there with us. Lord, we thank you so much for everything you do. Lord, please bless this day. Bless everybody who's under the sound of my voice. Lord, thank you so much. And in Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get into the reading since I wasted most of, your <laughs> most of your time at the beginning. But thank you so much for your patience. Um, anybody who's listening on Instagram and Facebook, anybody who's listening afterwards, like understand that you can also continue to, uh, share in the chat. Um, I can see all the chat that you guys leave on Instagram, on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, and I would love for you guys to join the conversation. Anyone who's listening to this afterwards, know that you are a part of this as well. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Like I said, I'm going to be reading from Joshua 1 for anybody who wants to follow along. And if anything comes on my spirit that I would like to share, then I will definitely share. Yeah, thank you so much. Anybody who wants to leave a super chat, by all means, you know, you don't have to if you don't want to. I love you guys either way. Um, if you like this video, it does help get pushed to more people. So make sure to like, share. Cecilia's back. What's up? Welcome. Welcome back. Love your vids. First stream that I've watched. Awesome. Welcome. Wonderful. I don't see your name there, but thank you so much. Yeah. Welcome to everyone who is logging on. We have people from all over the world. Like how crazy is that, that we have the opportunity to share moments like this with people in South Africa, people in Europe, people all over. Like it's absolutely amazing. And then here where I'm at in the U.S., Okay, so this is uh, Joshua chapter one. Like I said, if there's anything that comes on my spirit, I will let you guys know. So far, so good. What's up, Shark Boy? Welcome back. Like I said, guys, you can leave. You can continue to leave uh, comments as much as you would like um, as I'm reading, and then we will continue. As soon as I get done, we're gonna jump right into unboxing both the million and hundred thousand thing plaque i think i showed it earlier but i'll show it one more time just to get you guys excited because i am so <laughs> excited listen i i can talk to you and tell you a couple of things of how i mean the number one thing is putting god first giving him all the glory and any because the only way that the easiest way to in my eyes listen this is my own opinion but i think a lot of you would um agree is that the only way to be successful or to to have success in this life on earth is to give all the glory to god give all the glory to god continue to pursue him seek him diligently and that's the number one step because before you do that you're going to have a lot of trouble for a long time i'll tell you a little bit of my testimony for a long time before the beginning of last year i was seeking just financial wealth not through because I love money, but just because of what the wealth, what the money could buy me. And for the longest time, I went to school. I got a degree in accounting. Like I ran a real estate business. There were things that I did, but it was all for the wrong reason, right? And once I put God first, that's when all of these opportunities, all these doors opened up for me. And I would advise anybody, if you're chasing money, it's not worth it. <laughs> money does not last. God is eternal. Money is temporary, right? So keep that in mind for anybody who wants a little words of wisdom, okay? Learn from my mistakes. Do not chase money. Chase God. Chase God with all your heart, and he'll give you all the desires of your heart. The Bible says that if you seek God diligently, he will give you the desires of your heart. The Bible says that. That's a promise. 
So if the word says it, it's 100% true. I'm a testimony of that. And I'm very blessed to be in the situation and the uh, place that I'm at. Okay. Joshua chapter one. Thank you for inspiring that question, inciting that question. God bless you. Jesus loves all of you guys. Look, I love the spirit. <laughs> Wonderful. Brian, welcome from the Philippines. All right. This is Joshua chapter one. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people to the land which I'm giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea toward the going, um, toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. These are promises that God has made to Joshua. These are promises like he made these promises to Joshua. Joshua was a part of his people and we are also a part of his people. So any promises that are in the Bible, you have to understand that those promises are also your promises. He makes those promises to you once you accept Jesus Christ in your life. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. You will be victorious in anything that you try to set your mind to if you put him first. That's the point. Joshua always put God first. Be strong and of good courage, for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. He consistently, God, consistently, through his people, he continues to say this over and over. Be strong and of good courage, for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Then it says, only be strong, this verse seven, only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant commanded you do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go, that you may prosper wherever you go. You know, a lot of people, when you start to talk about prosperity or anything like that, a lot of people get like really tense, right? And at the end of the day, something you need to understand is that the Bible says prosper and the Bible says preaching. Okay. I'm not a prosperity preacher. And most of you guys would know that through my content and through these lives that we've been doing, we're going to do a lot more, but the Bible talks about prosperity. The, the Bible talks about God prospering his, uh, prospering his people. I know people are going to come on that one sentence. They're going to be like, Oh man, he's pros He's <laughs> prosperity preacher. Hopefully you guys who are tuning in just know that I'm not a prosperity preacher. I'm making a point that the Bible says prosper. The Bible says preaching and people just want to take it. Now, some people take it too far, of course, and people take advantage of it, which is not OK. But, hey, all we can do is pray for those people and do the right thing to show that not all Christians are, are bad. Right. Um, OK. This is verse eight. If you're following along, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. If you ever want to, if you ever want to change the way you think or the change, like if you have anxiety, if you have anger, there are tons of verses in the Bible and the Bible doesn't just say, Hey, go look for a verse that makes you feel better. That's not what it says. The Bible says the book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. If you want to change your life, you need to be in the word every day. You need to meditate on the word. Now, mind you, I can't remember a whole chapter. I, I can barely remember whole passages. OK, but something that I like to do is I will even if I have it in front of me, it's OK. If you have a verse written down in front of you, know that um, whenever you uh, whenever you find a verse that really captivates you in a way. Because a lot of times when you're reading the word, the Holy Spirit's going to move and it's going to give you these emotions, these feelings, whether it's inspiration, whether it's comfort, whether it's peace, whether it's faith, right? There's so many verses in the Bible on faith. Or if you're lacking in one of those, right? Take a verse that helps you feel inspired, that helps you feel at peace, that helps you feel more patient, that helps you more feel less angry, to help you feel less anxious and meditate on it when you wake up. Before you go to sleep, your life will be completely different. 
It says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. If you guys want to continue to, if you want to read another passage that talks about meditating on the word, you can write down Psalm chapter one. It's a short chapter, but uh, it's a really good chapter, but it talks about meditating on the word. Meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Listen, if the word has multiple verses in the same chapter saying the same thing, um, there's there's a point to that. <laughs> okay. They're trying to remind us. They're meditating on the word, right? And it says, uh, it says, uh, let's see. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is verse nine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That's a promise to all of God's children that God is with you wherever you go. And a lot of us, I said in the last live that, you know, a lot of us want to, including myself, want to turn to God when things aren't so good, right? But we should turn to him when things are 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 good too, right? We should th be thankful in the goodness of God and be thankful in the trials. The Bible talks about rejoice in the trials because they they create perseverance, right? perseverance and they and they help with people's faith and it's definitely helped with my faith be strong and of good courage do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go all right it's verse 10 then joshua commanded the officers of the people saying pass through the camp and command the people saying prepare provisions for yourself for within three days you will cross over this jordan to go in and possess the land which the lord your god is giving you to possess all of us are made for a purpose in this life. And there is a land that we are called to possess. And I don't mean that in like a, you know, ruler or dictator type of way. No, there is a calling on our life from God. If you're listening to this, there is a calling on your life that God has called you to do. There is a, a set of people that God has called you to serve. And it's up to us to decide whether or not we are going to be obedient to God to learn what what set of people that we are supposed to serve, that we are supposed to captivate, that we are supposed to be in front of, right? And God has blessed me with this channel to be able to be in front of the people who are listening now and in the future. I mean, you have to think across all social media platforms, I added them up and I'm, I'm saying this for the glory of God. It's almost 2.5 million people across all social media platforms. How amazing is that? Like, it could only be by the hand of God for me to be able to, to be in front of that many people right now and potentially be in front of that many people, right? Not everybody listens at the same time, but there's a lot of people who listens to these lives directly afterwards. Okay, so uh, it says, pass through the camp and command the people saying, prepare provisions for yourself for within three days, you will cross over the Jordan to go in and possess the land, which the Lord, your God is giving you to possess. And to the Reubenites and the Gentiles and half the tribe of Manasseh, Joshua spoke saying, remember the word, which Moses, the servant of the Lord commanded you saying, the Lord, your God is giving you rest and is giving you this land. Maybe you're on here and you don't feel like you've had rest. Maybe you're dealing with something that you don't think you can handle. Understand that the word promises that the Lord will give you rest, but you have to find comfort in him. You have to find comfort in his word. Jesus loved you. And the only reason Jesus was sent was because God loved us so much that he wanted to commune with us. He wanted to have a relationship with you. Ooh, so good, right? Remember the word, your God. The Lord your God is giving you rest and is giving you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side of the Jordan, but you shall pass before your brethren, armed, all you mighty men of valor, and help them until the Lord has given your brethren rest as he gave you. And they also have taken possession of the land which the Lord your God is giving them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses, the Lord's servant, gave you on the side of the Jordan toward the sunrise. Verse 16. So they answered Joshua, saying, All that you command us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go. Just as we heeded Moses in all things,
So we will heed you. Only the Lord your God be with you. The Lord is with every single one of us. Anyone who is under the sound of my voice, the Lord is with you. The Holy Spirit pushes us to do the right thing. As he was with Moses, whoever rebels against your command and does not heed your word and all that you command him shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courageous. He even ends with that. I said it like five, I said it like four or five times. Be strong and of good courage. If you love that, put some hand clap emojis. You can also put some hand prayer emojis. How amazing is that passage? It's so good. And it really encouraged me whenever I was just discouraged or I didn't want to record or I didn't want to script because, you know, run, running a YouTube channel is and can be a lot of work. But if you just have fun in the process, you trust God that, you know, if you believe that this is what you're you're called to do, then you're going to press forward. And God will reward you for being a faithful servant, especially if you're preaching the word of God, right? So, and each and every single one of you can do that. Anybody who wants to preach the word of God, you can do that. You don't have to go to seminary. You don't have to be a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I've not been to seminary, but I love the word of God. I love talking about the word and I just love Jesus. And at the end of the day, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit will give us the words to say when we need to say them. So you don't always have to, you don't always have to know the words to say. All you need to do is just take steps forward, take action forward. And, um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I've actually really enjoyed that. It's been a little while since I've read that passage. Um, okay. I'm just checking the chat guys for anybody who's listening. I just want to see what everybody is saying. Praise God. Yeah. God is good. If you love Jesus, say, I love Jesus in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Tons of people on Instagram are watching. That's amazing. Welcome, guys and gals. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Check. Okay. Praise God. All right, guys. Well, I don't want to waste all your time. I know a lot of you guys who are tuning in want to see the unboxing of the uh, 100K plaque and the million plaque. I have also wanted to open them, but I waited. I have not opened any of them. I have waited because I wanted to do it with you. How awesome is that? Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Let's open it up. I thought I would be prepared today, but as you've seen, we had some technical difficulties at the beginning, but that's okay. Hopefully, maybe I can like cut that part out. What do you think? All right, let's check it out. We're going to do the 100K plaque first. Check it out. For everyone who is tuning on right now, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh oh, it's got like black foam on it. Let's see, to protect it. Whoo! It says. I'm going to read this for anybody. So this is what you get whenever you get a 100K plaque. Do you remember your first subscriber? I do. Your 100th? I do. Or your 1,000th subscriber? Chances are you do. And we know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000th subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. And I'd go so far to say it's because of God that we're all here. Can I get an amen in the chat? We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with a Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. We know that you have many more stories to share with your community, and we know your fans can't wait for you to amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you'll do next. And we're here to support you along the way. And who knows? When you reach your millionth subscriber, we may just write to you and ask, do you remember your 100,000 subscriber? I'm going to be honest, guys. It was so quick hitting the, uh, oh my gosh, I was about to close it up. How funny is that? Okay, let's check it out. Wow. How amazing. Wow. Look 
at that. How awesome is that? Praise God. Put a fire emoji if you think this is amazing. How amazing is this? And like I said, this is not only my accomplishment, but each and every single person who is listening under the sound of my voice. It's also your accomplishment. You're a part of this. We're a team here. When it comes to God, we are a team. We are a team. Yeah, absolutely amazing. It's awesome. Well, praise God. We'll do one more look. If anybody wants to take a screenshot. <laughs> Okay, all right, on to the million. That is amazing. I've been waiting about probably a little over a week to open this up because I wanted to share it with you guys. I wanted that first moment opening up to be shared with you guys. So thank you so much for being here. All right, my mic has still not went out. Praise God. Okay, awesome. Don, hello. John, what is up, my boy John in the house? Harris, welcome. Okay, let's check out the uh, million subscriber plaque. Like, this is wild. Wild, absolutely wild. And I did not think it was going to be this big. Like, it is crazy. Right now, anybody who's tuning in, we are opening the million subscriber <laughs> plaque. Absolutely a blessing to have received this. All glory to God. I would not be where I'm at without my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Woo. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. This plaque is massive. All right, here we go. You did it. One mission, one channel, and one more thing. One million subscribers. Congratulations. You may have. And listen, every single person who's under the sound of my voice, I am saying this for your delight too. I'm reading this for you to embrace that these words are for you as well, because I would not have been able to do it without you. You may have started with just a few viewers, but your voice, passion, and creativity have now touched the lives of people around the world. And the community you've built is enriched by the stories you've shared as you bring people together. To honor this milestone, we're proud to present you with the Gold Creator Award. We hope this special recognition will remind you how much you mean to so many. Every day, you are redefining how content is created and watch one voice and one video at a time. It's a privilege to be a part of your journey. We can't wait to see what you do next. Yours sincerely. Absolutely. <laughs> this plaque is wild oh my gosh okay let's see if i can get it out of the box oh my goodness Whew. i did not know how this would feel but it feels pretty amazing a million subscribers Praise God. Can I get an amen in the chat? What do you guys think about that? How awesome is that? Silver and gold in one week. Amen. That's right. Oh, so amazing. Thank you, Cecilia. Jane, welcome from New York City. Amen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely a blessing. As in Joshua, be strong and courageous. And understand that just because you see me do it doesn't mean anything, guys. Anybody who's under the sound of my voice can do this. You can. You just have to have faith in God that this is what you're called to do. Now, listen, we're not all called to be YouTubers, but some of us are. And if we are, then we should um, we should chase our calling. And especially if you want to listen, if you want to be if you want to do the same thing and uh, share the word of God, you can absolutely do that. We all have a voice for the Lord. And the one thing that we are here to do is make disciples. Right. So each and every single person who's under the sound of my voice, you can absolutely do the exact same thing. And I mean, it's just it's just insane. Right. It's it's amazing that. <laughs> Uh, we can literally create videos in the character of Jesus 
And I mean, these platforms, after a while, if you get enough views, they'll also pay for you. They'll pay you to do it. They will pay you to do it. Like, I think that is crazy. Now, mind you, I've not been getting paid for the first five and a half months of doing this. I did it because I didn't do it for the money, right? If you do it for the money, listen, I was talking at the beginning. I don't know if you guys heard it. Maybe you did. I don't know. But um, I was talking at the beginning how I never, I used to chase money. And then finally, when I put God first and I started chasing him, guess what? Everything changed. Everything changed. And like my life went from zero to 100 so quick because I put him first. So at the end of the day, don't put money first. Don't put material objects first. They're not worth it. And they're temporary. Listen, it's okay to desire those things. God sees those desires. But if you put him first, he'll give you all those desires like way easier than if you were to go out and try to get them yourself. I'm so serious. So I'm very blessed to be able to. <laughs> all, all my all my friends are on here. Welcome, David. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm trying to. So YouTube, the comments on YouTube do not come through on uh, StreamYard for some reason. So that's interesting. Uh, if you're on Facebook, I can see your messages. So welcome, Jane. I see that you're on Facebook. So StreamYard actually shows YouTube and Facebook. Like I am just so very thankful. Um, yeah, there's tons of people. There are more than just you watching, but hey, praise God. Thank you guys for coming in and supporting this amazing day. I will actually be dropping some info on Sunday evening. I may go live. It's a pretty big announcement. I wanted to do it today, but I think we've already had such a big announcement with the 1 million and 100K plaques. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'm so glad that each and every single one of you have been here to spend this time with me. You know, and I'll continue to do these lives. I'll continue to spend time with you guys. It is, like I said, a complete blessing. Uh, anybody who's listening after this, just know that this message is to you as well. Doesn't matter if you're listening two days from now, two months from now, or two years from now. This message is for you. And I appreciate each and every single one of you. Now, onward, right? Like we're actually about to, we're knocking on the door to 2 million subscribers on YouTube. Like how wild is that? I just received these plaques within the past week and we're already knocking on the door to 2 million subscribers. All glory to God. So it's been such a blessing. If anybody has any questions for me in regards to the, the journey, in regards to content creation, um, for a very long time, I was actually, I actually do this full time now. I do this full time now for anybody who's wondering, but for many, many, many months, <laughs> praise God, John, you are in the name of Jesus. You and David are, <laughs> your time is coming, brother. Your time is coming. Um, yeah, for anybody who's curious about that. But no, for the first probably three, three and a half months uh, of the five and a half months, I actually worked as a truck driver driving from North Carolina to California, North Carolina to Ohio. And I drove all over North Carolina to Florida for anybody who's down there. And so I've traveled a lot and it's been a blessing in itself. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. And it gave me a lot of personal time to spend with... Uh, to spend with the Lord, to read the word and really just be indulged in what he wanted for my life. And I think, you know, we can get so distracted from our jobs and the people around us, you know, we can, and not to say that that's our, their intention, right? But we all, we all, <laughs> you know, we get distracted from the people who are in our life, our coworkers, our families. And sometimes we need to take a step back, meditate on the word and to spend time with God like by ourselves, you know, you can look at, I could have looked at all those months and for the better part of probably the past three years, I could have looked at it at a, as a very lonely time, but something that I had for the better part of a year and a half is the word of God. And I knew that God was with me regardless of where I was at. So it, it didn't matter how I felt or, or where I was at. Like I knew that I was never alone. And if anybody's listening right now, I just want you to know that you're not alone either. 
And maybe you don't really know. You don't know if there's a God. Maybe you think there's a higher power out there. But I want to tell you that Jesus is the only way to salvation. Jesus loves you. Jesus is the way to God and the relationship with God. And anybody can accept the blessings and the reward. Like I said, anybody who's listening to this, anything that a child of God has accomplished the reward that they have accomplished is just as much your reward as it is their reward. And I'm not saying to want their same reward just because they have it. I'm saying desire what you desire because God sees the desires on our hearts. And if you desire it, God will give it to you. But first, you have to accept Jesus in your life as your Lord and Savior. And if you do that, it's so easy. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below <laughs> and and you can watch that to be fully engulfed in how to do that. Praise God. Welcome, Lisa. Cecilia, God is so good. Bye, Harris. Thank you for coming in. So praise God, guys. I give all the glory to God. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you who are listening in. I'm thankful for this opportunity to be able to speak to you guys. And uh, I definitely want to continue to do this. The goal is to move into a studio soon. So I'm really excited about that. There are some big things coming. I just want you guys to know God has been so good. And like I said, if you put him first, he'll give you all the desires of your heart. So thank you guys for tuning in. If there's not any other questions, I can look over at Instagram as well. Welcome, Ronaldo. What's up? If anybody has questions in regards to uh, in regards to the journey, in regards to uh, content creation as a whole, somebody asked earlier. They said, they said, please tell us how to be successful. If anybody wasn't here whenever that question popped up. Thank you so much to everybody who said congrats, congratulations, thank you. And like I said, listen, you're saying congratulations to both of to you as well. Listen, I would not be here without you guys. I wouldn't be. And it's for us to come together as one in Jesus. So I'm just so <laughs> pleased. Having a lot of love in the chat. I'm checking out the chat. I have a lot of love in the chat. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Frederick, welcome. Ronaldo, welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, if there's nothing to add to that, like I said, I apologize for the first probably 15 minutes. Jeez Louise, we had some technical difficulties, but I'm glad everybody come in. Listen, it doesn't matter. We are not going to let the devil stop these successes, stop these accomplishments. We're going to continue to push forward to 10 million subscribers in the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said, I appreciate each and every one under the sound of my voice. I'm going to pray you guys out and bless you. I, I just love each and every single one of you. So with that being said, if you want to accept this and, and pull this in from the spirit that dwells in us, put your hands up to heaven. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the day. Thank you for everyone who is under the sound of my voice, Lord. Thank you that we are able to praise and worship your name. Thank you for these accomplishments, not by our own doing, but by the spirit that dwells in us. Lord, I ask that if there's anybody under the sound of my voice who needs healing, who's going through something, where they're overwhelmed, where they're anxious, Lord, Lord, I just rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I know that if it's not from you, if it's not peaceful, if it's not from a place of grace, Lord, we know that it's not from you. And we come back to you. We pray to you, Lord, to rebuke those evil thoughts that may come to us, those evil feelings that come to us, the doubt, the, the worry. Lord, we rebuke all those. Lord, we thank you for this time, this moment together. Lord, I ask that you bring the spirit down on each and every one of us, Lord. And if there is something that you have called us to do, Lord, put it plainly in front of us so that we may run with it as fast as we can. Lord, we appreciate the time that we've been able to spend with you, Lord, and give us the courage to be strong and courageous, to share our faith with others because God has been so good to each and every one of us. Lord, we say all of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
Amen, amen, amen. You can drop some amens. I'll sit here a little while. Um, thank you guys for everything. Amen, Renato. That's right. We are going to get to 10 million in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you guys for spending some time with me. I have appreciated every single moment that we've been able to spend. Let's see. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a great evening and an even better day. Amen, Melissa. Amen, Sarah. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in with me. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. God bless.